Because I kind of just floored it just on that last day and called right on the wall. Much better wall ride. Just a gentle tap on the wall. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa. We got the wheel cam and the pedal cam all hooked up. We're here today to talk about the Bishudo Drift Championship here on a set of Corsa. The Seed Series, the entry level series to get the VDC license that I've been looking for. So, you guys know I've been talking a lot about doing VDC here on a set of Corsa Tandem Comp. So this is my chance, this is the competition I'm going to have to try and go through. So today, we are going to take a look at some of the cars that are mandated to run in the Bushido Drift Championship and what better track to test it than OSW when round one of EDC is this weekend at OSW. So let's take a look at the cars first and foremost. We got an E46 and then we also have that Corvette, the Mustang, a 180 SX, a 240, R35, BRZ and then we have a Toyota Crown. So we're going to take a look at a couple of these cars today and see what we are going to be working with so we're going to take a look at the skyline first we're going to head to the track with it and we're going to test the skyline and see how the skyline does and see if the car tickles my you know fancy and i decide i want to use it so we're not using first person we're not using well not first person per se and we're not really loud so we are actually going to be running hood view on this car I've noticed hood view is a little bit more comfortable for me and this car just gets up and goes so we're gonna test a couple of these VDC car or VDC the uh, Bushido cars which are basically I think tuned down cars of VDCs um, and see if any of these pique my interest on what I want to possibly work my way into we're not tuning any of these cars we're just taking them how they were made the people who made the cars and see what they're like. I can already tell the car nasty loud. So we're gonna run this car a couple times and see what it's like. Go and stop in. Here we go. First run. Adjust myself. I do get my tablet running. I gotta adjust the screen so you guys can see it better. But first run. R34. So apparently I need fourth gear. All right. So now we know the gear. We're going to end that off. Now that we know what gear we need to be in, it's kind of a nasty flick entry. i got to get rid of that. i got to realize my mouse needs to uh, be a little bit out of the way. I always get the cursor. Nothing I really had to realize when I was on Xbox, of course. So we're going to run this, but we're going to be running it in fourth on the bank. Had to test it and see what gear we need to run in. A little bit low on the bank, definitely way low on the bank. Oh, and don't pull the handbrake on the bank because that happens. Oof. So I am noticing that I need to work a lot on getting some practice on these cars because definitely a different monster. Um, I may be switching to be using real head motion, but I was having some issues with it where it was not looking where I wanted it to and it was kind of messing up my angle. But something I need to just get too used to. So we're going to try this again. R34, one more try. It's a little bit more of an aggressive entry. Kind of stayed on the bank a little bit. Left foot, left foot break off, but definitely did not go where I needed it to. So, now mind you, these cars are not tuned or dialed or anything on those lines. It is exactly how I got them from the pack. Now, one thing I love about Seto is the fact that we can just, you know, pause anytime and go through a replay. So I haven't adjusted tire pressure, suspension, gearing, or anything like that. Just trying to find a car that might tickle my fancy, and then I will go into uh, working on that car more. That entry though was nice. The third standing cone. The initial bank run was okay, and then we kind of dropped off the bank. So the R34 handles pretty well. Definitely stalled out there. So. I would need some work in the R34. So we're going to switch. We don't need to see that. 
We're going to switch to another car and see about running another car. Let's try this 180. We're going to try the 180 SX. I've been set, I've went in and set basically a camera on the roof of most of these cars, I believe, so that I can use that view for today. I don't think I set this one, though. Did not. So, joys of a setup. Oh my, this thing is loud. So we're going to adjust our camera view while we're driving. One thing you can't do in the Xbox version, if do it in pits, and it's very slow. So this one we can do it while we're driving, going out onto track. Ooh, not really paying attention. Oh, we're going through cones. We good, though. There we go. Right there is good. Front brake light in effect. Get this out of the way, so... Not sure how this car is going to go or what gear is, so we're going to run this first to see what gear. Big sports gear as well. Kind of fourth gear kind of stalled out a little bit, but... Rail is somewhat... Get a full pull. Not the cleanest or the nicest one ever, but... The gearing is a little bit off, so we're going to take a look at that real quick. So the gearing is something I need to mess with, but I just need to find a car that I'm slightly comfortable with from the get-go. Nice entry on the bank, but mid to low line, definitely below the yellow where we don't want to be. Came off the bank decent though. Thought it was going to over-rotate there, we were able to somehow keep that, but we are very, very low in there and I kind of had to angle up later and we came off short. So I think the gearing on this, we're just going to mess with the gearing real quick. Going to drop this there so maybe we can run, we'll go the other way. So maybe we can run fourth gear on the bank. So we're going to give this one another try and try one more car. Probably here for today. Gearing seems a little bit better. Get my cursor out of the way. So, like I said, we're just testing some cars here today to try to see maybe what car we like from the get-go, and then we'll tune it from there. Definitely going to be getting some help from people that I've met already in the Assetto community. So let's go. Ooh. Kind of hit the wall and uh, kind of messed up our line. Ooh, clutch case stay alive. So the 180 does feel pretty good. Uh, I feel like it's. I'm gonna have to get very used to the turbo lag because I'm used to driving cars that don't have turbo lag. You guys know from Forza and everything I was running the C5 VET and the VQ motors without turbo lag. So something I'm going to have to get used to keeping spooling. So definitely need to alter my driving style a little bit if I'm going to run these cars. So we're going to give it one more go. There we go. A little bit better. Probably should stay in fourth. So, not the cleanest run at all. But, nonetheless, you know, like, it, oh, geez. Like I said, we are really just trying to figure out what car I want to run. Entry on the wall was great. About the second, almost the last entry cone. We kind of stayed a little bit higher on the bank. This transition that was kind of wonky. I went to the wrong gear and I had to switch up. If I would have stayed in fourth, I probably would have been a lot better. So we're going to try one more car here for today's episode. And I believe we're going to go to something straight LS power. We're going to go with that Corvette. So I hope you guys are enjoying these new videos. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. I do apologize for a lack of videos recently. I'm trying to still get everything set up. Everything's pretty much good to go. So next week, full video content list coming out for you guys. 
If you guys have anything you specifically want to see, let me know down in the comments. Oh boy. <laughs> that straight power, no lag. This is going to be interesting. Definitely going to be tweaking my wheel settings and stuff too. So if you guys have wheel settings that you think might be better, let me know down in the comments as well. All right, let's do this. Corvette. OSW. So much more angle, but a lot lower, but kind of stayed where I needed it to. Kind of get out to the crease though. So uh, I feel like that was much smoother than any of the other cars I've run so far today. So we're just gonna go play. And we're gonna see, maybe digress this run, drop down a little bit. So I flicked a little bit too low, and I kind of stayed on that line. So. I feel if I flip closer to the wall, I'd probably stay there. Came off the bank pretty good though, the quick transition, quickie brake grab, nothing major. A little left foot brake there, but was able to pretty much get out to that crease and run that crease line for most of that inner bank. So overall, probably the best run I've had so far in these cars. And obviously you guys know I was running that C5 in Forza for a long time. And uh, maybe I'm just comfortable in a vet. So definitely cool to have the drift vets here that are actually uh, competitive, I guess you would say, because you couldn't run any of those in the Forza series because they had too wide of tires. So we're going to run this again, try and see if run it maybe a little bit higher on the wall this time. Nonetheless, a very, very decent run on that bank. I kind of want to see that bank run because it looked pretty good. So here we go. This was the second run. Almost would have taken this because I kind of just floored it. Just on that last day, called right on the wall. Much better wall ride. Just a gentle tap on the wall. It's probably the best run I've had so far. Quick transition. Kind of angled out weird here. Kind of threw my car up, but I feel like I could change that with some grip changes and everything like that. I'm definitely feeling pretty comfortable in this vet. Gonna get one more run in the vets and this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. And let me know what you guys think of the cars that I've ran. Which ones do you, which one of the three do you think looked more solid, more comfortable for me? And uh, I want to get take your takes on this. So you guys are getting to see the progression of my driving here in Assetto, starting from this, not being super familiar, and hopefully getting better. That was not a good entry, so I think we're going to end that here. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.